All right, so I had noticed that my Frenzel term was mixing in my reflection and my alpha blending into the terrain area. So I was messing with the way that uh, my grass texture looked and my sand and all that stuff. So I got rid of that. And when I did, it brightened everything and blew it out quite a bit as far as the uh, colors went. So I had to add another color adjustment. And this is what it looks like with it toned down a bit. I can uh, turn that off right here. I think that should do it. So now it should be pretty bright and blown out. A cool island song. So this looks pretty good, except for it's a little bit in contrast with the characters. This guy's a little too dark. So, for color correction, I'm mixing in black using this. And we'll see. One, two, three, three. So now it should be a little bit darker, but not too much. Go ahead and tone it down just a little bit more. So basically we're using Vertex Alpha to mix black into the texture. So, since vertex alpha is zero on land, that means that it's mixing it in 0.66 on land. And then it tapers off. There we go. So we have it darkened, but we don't have these crazy dark areas over here. We still have illumination. So those shadows that we were seeing on the angle of the normal had to do with uh, Frenzel. I fixed it. Paint some dirt real quick. Now I'm going to need to add some trees so I can go all Bob Ross. And uh, maybe some building kit pieces. But yeah, now everything's starting to look how it's supposed to. And uh, I was going to add single bounce global illumination, but it's a little bit tricky to uh, get it to work right. With the buffer bloom. Alright, thanks for watching.